Okay, so now we will talk about uh, sampling for bacteria. Um, these are 3M plates. Um, they're bacterial plates that you can receive with your order if this is a parameter that you want to do. I do want to say that there are usually a lot of questions about this, so I will try to explain in detail as we go through this video, but if you have any questions, please reach out to me because uh, this is one of the more confusing parts of sampling. So once your colonies have developed and you go to get your count, the first thing you want to notice is we don't count any of the colonies that are outside of this red circle area. Um, this has the growing media in it, so you're uh, assured that you'll get colonies. And then it also has a grid over it, which will assist with your counts. One of the things that you want to look for for confirmed colonies are air bubbles. So you want them to be not necessarily right on top of, but very near to the colony that you're counting. Uh, most bacterial colonies will produce gas as they grow. For instance, in this top photo, we have two, or two uh, true E. coli colonies here. Um, there is one outside of that area, so we don't count that. On this bottom one, we have a few more. So we have one, two, three, four that I would count. Um, this one is at least half outside of the circle, so I wouldn't count that. And definitely not these for the E. coli. So there's a few ways you can get counts. The first one is to do a total count. So in this case, we just have two that are blue colonies. So we have two E. coli. Um, and then when you look at um, the rest, the coliform colonies, they are pretty numerous, uh, but we can get a count from a few squares, take an average, and then multiply that by 20. There are 20 squares in each circle. And so that can give you an estimated count. The last thing, once you get your total count or your average, is that you want to multiply by 100. The final units that you'll report in will be colonies per 100 milliliters of water. And this sample is one milliliter. So you'll extrapolate from there. Another option, which we don't have on either of these, is too numerous to count. So if your entire um, plate is covered with tiny colonies, there's not a great way to estimate. If you put too numerous to count, then we know it's a much higher value than you would expect or you would want in your water. 